What's up guys, Illustrious Storm back at again with another video. Now for today's video, we are actually going to have a new tutorial on how to create dope ass thumbnails. So first thing you need is Photoshop. This is pretty much the only thing you really need. I'm going to provide everything else in the description below. So you're going to go to create new. And if this is not anything but pixels, make sure you change it to pixels and then make it 1920 by 1080 on both of these. Now, like I said in the description, I provided a, a link to basically all of these assets right here, all of these PNGs that you can use to make some really cool thumbnails, um, along with some project files that are called asset packs. And they have all kinds of like layer styles and different things you can add onto it. And this is also in the asset pack if, in the description if you want it. If you want to move any of this, all you have to do is press this little arrow key. You can literally click and move anything anywhere. Now the next thing we need to do is add a background. You can download backgrounds from Google. Um, just look up wallpapers or Fortnite or something. And then this is the one I found. Literally just put Fortnite wallpapers 4K I think. And then this popped up. This wallpaper is fully covering the wildcat and you can't see it. So just grab the wildcat like by clicking it and just put it up top like this and there you go now you can see the wildcat um i'm going to go ahead and make the background a little bigger so if you want to do that all you gotta do is click the background press Control and t and then it brings up this little square and then you use these little markers to kind of elongate it and kind of get it the way you want i want the moon just like that yeah that looks sick so i press check mark right here up top and revive it. If you took a picture of someone, this would be out of focus and this would be in focus. So all you got to do is click the layer that you want to do it to. So we want to do it to the background. So we're going to click this. Then we're going to go to filter, blur, gauge and blur. And then that'll kind of give it the out of focus look. Now you can do like a little bit of it or you can do a lot of it. I like doing it like at a, like a four. Yeah. So you can see this is pretty cool already. We already have the out of focus background, but it could be a lot cooler. There's like different ways we can make this stand out. So the first really basic thing we can do is add some light shining from behind. So you click the wildcat, drop a layer by clicking this little button right here at the plus sign. You click it and a new layer will pop up. Make sure this layer is under the wildcat and then go ahead over here on this side and click this little paintbrush. Click it and we're going to make this white just by clicking it and then dragging it over to the white. We're gonna make sure the brush's hardness is all the way at zero. And then the size, probably like at a 400, 480, whatever, that's good. Yeah, and just, you're gonna keep clicking away and then just kind of highlight behind the body. Give it some presence and some lighting. It looks real cool. So we got some sort of lighting. We can drop the fill down so it's not as crazy. And there you go. All you gotta do is click this little thing and it'll basically like make the um, uh, effect a little less strong. So like all the way is pretty strong. Drop it down like this, you know, it's a little less and it kind of blends in more. It looks nicer that way. The next thing we're gonna do is add realistic shadows and lighting to this because this light and this shadow it does not match this background. Like if you look over here, the shadows over here are like a dark blue. Over here, it's like a, like a dark gray black. So in order to do this, all we have to do is create a new layer. Now make sure this layer is the new layer that you just made is above the wildcat. Right click it and press create clipping mask. Now that you created clipping mask is basically only going to affect the wildcat. Okay. So that's important because now we're going to re add shadows. So I'm going to go over here and just pick a color and you can easily just press the square right here. And then you can literally pick any color that you see on this picture, you know, anything. So I'm going to get a shadow. So that's a real dark shadow like that's perfect. And then I'm going to go in here and basically just fill in all the shadows with this color. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is switch it and we want to now get a highlight. A highlight would be something bright on the picture. This is a nice little highlight. It's like a light blue. There we go. So that's the highlight we're going to use. Now I'm going to go in and color all the bright parts, which are the highlights. So now that we got it fully colored, I know it looks really crazy, but this is when it's about to get cool. You go over here right above. It says normal. You click it right here. This little arrow key and it gives you all these different options on how to apply the color. We're going to put a soft light and then we're maybe drop down the fill just a little bit. So without it, see, has more of a like warmer tone. 
and with it now it's a blue and it matches this tone in the background if anything i'm gonna redo the lighting that i originally did because i don't like it i think it looks bad and we're gonna redo it another thing we can do to make this stand out is add some assets now all these will be available in the description so definitely take a look there so now i'm going to use this pack called the 300 subs pack again it'll be in the description if you want it so we're going to use a thing called suns and i'm pretty sure you've seen these it's just these little sun pngs click it Control c and then Control v and then it'll pop up now make sure this is under your wildcat. It's already under our wildcat, but if it's not, you want to drag it and put it under your wildcat because that's where you're going to want it to be. Just make it the size of the picture. You can make it as big as you want, as small as you want. I like making it the size of the picture because I'm, um, I think it looks cool. Let's see, Ooh, a pin light, that looks pretty cool. And then drop the fill down so it's not as ridiculously crazy. Then we're going to maybe add some particles. Again, this pack will be in the description. Open recent. I like using the Wraith pack for my particles. I think those look really cool. Um, this has a lot of cool fire and lightning effects. It's really cool. Control C, Control V, and then there it is. I'm gonna bring it up to the top layer so it covers everything. I'm gonna Control T it so I can actually make it big or however big I want it. Um, I want it to fill up the whole picture. And I kind of want my wildcat to actually be above it. Yeah, that looks cool. Again, I use magnifying glass. I make it bigger just by clicking. Now that looks pretty cool. I think it could use a little bit more shine. So I'm going to make another layer. I'm going to make sure it's under the wildcat. And then I'm going to make it to a white. And then I'm just going to make my brush, my brush a little big. Now that looks cool. Now that looks cool. All right, you can even add a stroke. Um, some people do this, some people don't. So if you click the wildcat and you double click it, these options will pop up right here. And if you click stroke, it'll add like a layer around it and you click the actual thing right here and you can make it smaller. That's with, that looks pretty cool. We'll just keep it. So we need a title, but yeah, again, in the description, open recent. Um, let's go ahead and use asset packs for thumbnails. This one's pretty good. You got to click the whole folder if you want this. So control C, control V. And yeah, we're just going to put something here. Maybe I'm back. Let's put wild. I like doing all caps. Wild cat. Sorry. My keyboard doesn't have any letters on this part, so it's a little weird. So let's go ahead and add um, a gradient to it. So we're gonna click the actual wallpaper, click a new layer, and then make sure it's above the wallpaper, okay? It has to be above the wallpaper. Then we're gonna click this, and then I'm just gonna drag it to the middle, and then boom, all right? And then it'll do that. I chose a pre-color. You can choose any of these colors. They have all kinds of stuff, but I already had this purple one that I liked. So I'm gonna get a layer style, just press the eyeball and you'll be able to see them. I like this one, I think it's gonna fit the scene rather well. Control C, Control V is all you gotta do. So I'm gonna name it Thumbnail. When you make a text, you never wanna just, you know, type out the whole thing and then press enter because then you don't really get much freedom of where things go. So just type in one letter and then basically click it over here and then press Control C, Control V, copy it. So it's the same exact size and you can freely move it wherever you want. So now we're gonna name this one Tutorial. So that looks kind of ugly. So what we're gonna do is add some flavor to it, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our other asset pack and try to pull some stuff from there too. Go to our assets, red tag, bam. I like this one, control C. So you click it, once you find it, click the whole folder, control C, bam, control V. That looks great. So we're, I actually don't have this font, so we're gonna replace it. So double click challenge, replace, come up here, type in Burbank. So you don't have this font, definitely get it. It's used a lot and it's really good.
All right, so that looks pretty good. I just kind of centered it so where, you know, it looks pretty cool in the picture. And yeah, I'm pretty good at that. One last thing to make this pop just a little bit more, create another layer. So bring it under the text. And then again, we're gonna grab the paintbrush and we're just going to go behind it and kind of give it some lighting. It doesn't have to be exact. We're gonna kind of fade it out once we're done. All right, so now I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to like linear light. Let's see, maybe even soft light. So it's very su subtle and small. Oh yeah, guys, I just realized that this is totally misspelled. Definitely don't do that. If you happen to misspell something, just click it. Click right in the middle. Put your letter that you are missing and you are done. Press check. So once you're done with this, all you gotta do is go to file, export, export as when you're making a thumbnail for YouTube when you import it you can't render this at a super high quality because it, it'll be too big of a file for YouTube so click this little box right here it says smaller file 8-bit click that and then it's gonna convert it into an even smaller file but it's gonna look really crispy nonetheless guys now it's done loading press export and you're basically gonna choose where you want it to land or where you want it to render so BAM hit the desktop I want it on my desktop And you're done. So now there is our final product. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Make sure you subscribe for more tutorials, more funny videos. I'm actually working on a very toxic video and I think it's gonna be hilarious. You guys are gonna love it. That should be coming out this week at some point. And yeah, just hope you guys have an awesome day and subscribe. All right guys, deuces.